Without America's space program, the watchword has always been safety. The capsules in which the astronauts are housed were designed to withstand any of the stresses to which space flight would subject it. Part of this total protection effort has been the testing of special capsule designs to determine their viability under conditions associated with problem atmospheric re-entries. In preparation for full-scale tests, engineers at the Jet Propulsion Laboratories in New Mexico carried out computer analyses and correlated the results with scale model test data. To more completely correlate the findings of these prediction techniques, NASA conducted four full-scale impact tests and a burn test in November of 1979. These tests were to simulate the stresses which would exist during a problem re-entry, such as non-deployment of the main parachute. To assure the accuracy of the test data, human volunteers were selected from the astronaut training corps and placed carefully inside the prototype capsules during the impact tests. In the first test, a truck carrying the 22-ton test capsule and its human occupant impacted a 690-ton concrete block at 60 miles per hour. Here is the impact in slow motion. The capsule and its occupants sustained so little damage, it was decided to impact them again, this time at 84 miles per hour. The capsule and its volunteer also survived this more violent crash with only minor damage. It was then elected to conduct a third and somewhat different experiment. In the third test, a diesel locomotive was crashed into the side of the capsule at 81 miles per hour. Again, capsule deformation was minimal and the ability of the capsule to shield its human cargo was not compromised. The final impact test used a special railway car to impact the concrete block at 81 miles per hour. You son of a bitch! Then, to simulate the conditions of heat shield failure, the capsule and car were positioned over a pool of jet fuel and subjected to an engulfing fire. After 90 minutes, three times the duration of current qualification test criteria, surface temperatures exceeded 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. But inside the capsule, temperatures remained below 120 degrees, well within the boundaries of human endurance. There was no evidence to indicate that even the combination of the impacts and the fire posed any threat to the capsule's occupant. These full-scale crash tests verified analytical and scale model prediction techniques, and they also demonstrated just how rugged these capsules and their occupants really are.